This is an example of using Excel to solve a linear programming problem. This is going to be a basic problem and our focus here is just on how to get the job done in Solver. So it's not going to be formatted uh, precisely perfectly, uh, but just to get an overview of the things that we absolutely have to do. Uh, so. Our example here is that we have the choice to produce a certain number of tables or a certain number of chairs. The profit of a table is $70. The profit of a chair will be $50. When we produce a table, we need four hours of carpentry and two hours of painting. And we, when we produce a chair, we need three hours of carpentry and one hour of painting. In total, we have 240 hours of carpentry available and 100 hours of painting available. The very important concept is that in a linear programming problem, there are always three things. There are choice variables, which are the things that we need to choose. Uh, we, there is the objective, the thing that we want to either maximize or minimize. And then there are constraints that we have to meet. In our case, we have a choice of producing tables or chairs. So our choice variables are the number of tables we are going to produce and the number of chairs that we're going to produce. To start off with, you can put any numbers in there that you want. Uh, Excel is going to figure out these answers for us, but it's nice to have numbers in there just to start off. Our objective, the thing we want to maximize or minimize, in this problem we want to maximize profit. So we need an equation for profit. The equation for profit is going to be the number of tables that we're producing times 70 because that's the profit for a table plus the number of chairs we're producing times 50 because that's the profit for a chair. Right now with 10 chairs and 10 tables, that is uh, $1,200. I like to make a note for myself that we want to maximize that thing right there. In our case, we have two constraints. We have a constraint that's related to the hours of carpentry we have available and a constraint related to the amount of painting we have available. There's going to be a certain amount of carpentry and painting that we need based on the number of tables and chairs we're making. And there's a certain amount of carpentry and painting that we have that's given in the problem. We have 240 hours of carpentry and 100 hours of painting. The amount of these things that we need for carpentry, we need the number of tables we're producing times four, because a table takes four hours of carpentry, plus the number of chairs we're producing times three because a chair takes three hours of carpentry. For painting, we're going to have number of tables times two hours to paint the table plus number of chairs times one hour to paint the chair. All right, so we have the problem set up here uh, and we're going to then use Solver to solve this and a new window will pop up. It says set objective. Our objective is this box where we put our equation for profit. We then need to tell it whether we want to maximize or minimize. We want to maximize. We then tell Excel which cells we're choosing or which ones it should be changing in order to get our maximum profit. We're going to be solving for the number of tables and chairs. So we're telling Excel change these numbers here in order to maximize profit. We also have some constraints, so we're going to click Add. Our constraints, um, in this case, are that the number of hours that we need for our tables and chairs, which are in these cells here, 70 and 30 for now, have to be less than the maximum amount that we have, the 240 and the 100 from the problem. So we click OK. Now we've set all of this up. Um, we do want to make sure that we've checked this box. It says make unconstrained variables non-negative. That's just so Excel doesn't tell us to make negative 20 chairs. 
for example, and we want to make sure our solving method is set to simplex LP. We then click solve. We will indicate that we like that solution there. It is telling us it has changed these cells, 30 tables and 40 chairs will maximize profit and that profit will be $4,100. Notice that we need 240 hours of carpentry to produce 30 tables and 40 chairs and we in fact have that available from the problem. We need 100 and that also meets the 100 that we actually have.